Hello, this is Dev Diary number 7. Dev Diary number 6 came out three days ago, I believe. And I have added three fundamental things, well, fixed three fundamental things, since the last update, which was just a model, which as you can see I'm now using. I'll be adding an actual. She's got a rig which is not got animations at the moment. I'm looking to fix that after this video, probably. So, main thing, first thing, less important but still quite needed. As you can see, the sun doesn't look that much different. Everything's a bit more tinted orange. Since I've now changed the color grading, not well, the color grading, but the color of the sun, depending on how high it is. So things will become less orange as time progresses. As you can see, of course, pressing P with debug makes the sun go faster. As you can see, everything's a lot less orange now, although it's still kind of a bit orange. Whether or not that's my eyes is a different matter. However, the main thing is when we use a bed here, it's now suddenly nighttime and daytime, vice versa. And that is incredibly useful because when you do that, it saves the game because these options no longer save the game. Options still saves, but that's not game related. And when you do use a bed, it will respawn your ship at the closest port to you. I've got invisible actors somewhere inside here. And basically, the ship will spawn at whenever it gets loaded. Which is really useful if, because uh, if I quit the main menu here, load the game, you're not going to be stranded. You're going to have a boat here to uh, use. Also, if you jump off your boat, land on an island, and you can't get back up to your boat, just sleep. And then you'll get it back. Although I might add some sort of peer person to fix that for you. Also, boats have been fixed. They now feel a lot more fluid, as you can see. I'm not clicking constantly to uh, turn around. And there's a bit of an issue. It seems to get stuck in the player, although that might just be because of faulty collision. But it does feel a lot more smooth now. However, it's kind of difficult to see because <laughs> I'm so small compared to the old model. As you can see, it's a lot easier to uh, park. Because when you let go of the button, it will just stop. Oh, yeah. there's the old model for reference. It's huge. And I think that's about it. I did change quite a lot. Everything's been a little bit more optimized. I was having issues originally, though. However, this is moving on quite nicely. Because this is all modular. Although, the dock system, it's all just one actor, it's just in different areas. And so are the beds. The beds are just one actor, that can easily be swapped out. You have different models for different races, etc. So my plan is to eventually have islands spawn on their own accord, with their own pre-placed sort of bed positions and houses and AI. Because that's what I'm going to be working on next. I'm going to work on the AI and their spawning. Or well, mainly just their spawning so it isn't so desolate. And I will be adding the animations for the characters. Or the uh, bunny character. Because she is fully rigged. What else is there? Oh, the family system. I've already sort of begun work on it with the beds. But not really. I kind of just wanted to have then that cycle look a little better. Also, if you ever play this, turn off the HDR because it kind of makes everything really crappy looking. Although, it's not really saying much with this. Anyway. So, yeah. Families, rigging, AI, and procedural uh, island generation coming soon. Anyway, thanks so much.